You know, we've had three shopping mall shootings in five days here in Indianapolis. The most recent incident leaving one man dead at Nora Plaza just last night. Today, our Rich and I spoke with some frightened shoppers and also workers in the city now that desperately is seeking answers. Kristen Craig does much of her shopping at Nora Plaza. Kristen picked up a drive up order at Target Tuesday night about 730. I got out of the car and I heard pop, 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 and I said, oh gosh, you hear more fireworks, and she didn't speak very good English, but she said, no, ma'am, those, those are gunshots. Gunshots that started inside a vehicle on 86th Street. That navy blue Lexus continued east, then turned into Nora Plaza. The windows were shot out. The driver and a passenger both suffered gunshot wounds. 24-year-old Tavon Bickham died. This is an extremely busy shopping area. A dispute between people inside one vehicle with shots fired could have easily injured innocent drivers or shoppers. Rick Habig's family owns the garden shop at the corner across from Nora Plaza, a great location for over 30 years. Rick's glad the shop was closed for the day when the vehicle filled with gunfire drove by. We work outside right next to the street and, you know, it happened 100 yards away from us. That's fortunate for us, but unfortunate for all of, for all of us that because uh, those bullets can fly anywhere. I hate it for the victims and I hate it for those that were here, but it could have been a lot worse. Far too close. You don't want it to happen to anybody, but when it starts happening a, a football field away, I don't know what's making everybody so angry. Metro police said they have questioned a person of interest, but have not released any motive for the shooting. Kristen returned to Target Wednesday. Will it deter me from shopping here? No. I mean, we can't stop living. It can happen to anybody. It can happen in anyone's neighborhood. It's happening in way too many Indy neighborhoods.